वेलकम टू द कोडिंग बाइट्स दिस अवर टू डेज क्वेश्चन कंप्रेशन एल्गोरिथम सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू डिजाइन अ सिंपल कंप्रेशन एल्गोरिथम वेयर ओनली द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ इंडिविजुअल लेटर्स इज यूज्ड टू कंप्रेस द डेटा फॉर एग्जांपल दिस स्ट्रिंग वुड बिकम दिस नाउ हियर द केस सेंसिटिवनेस इज नॉट कंसीडर्ड दैट मींस द अपर केस एंड द लोअर केस बोथ आर कंसीडर्ड एज सेम now there are some sample input output given here and in this input you can see our input has a two times so it will become a2 then we have b only one time so this will become b1 and after that we have c five times so this will become c5 and after that we have a three times so it will become a3 so i hope you understood the question now let's see how we can solve this problem so for example this is the input given here from this input first of all we will convert all the upper case letters in the lower case that means we will have a string like this and we are storing this in a variable called lowered input now here what we will do next is we will take a for loop and we will iterate over this string and inside that for loop we will have a variable i now in this case we will start the loop from 1 that means i will contain 1 Now similarly we have taken three more variables here now first of all this ch will hold a character which will be the zeroth index character of the lowered input which means a in this case after that we have a variable count which will hold the number of times a character is present in this string and initially we will store one inside it after that we are taking a variable temp now this will store the character at the ith index so as you can see i is 1 so now this i is pointing to the character a now that means we will store a in this temp now what we have to do next is simply we will compare ch and temp if both of them are equal then we will increase the count by 1 now in this case ch and temp both are equal so we will increase count by 1 so the count will become 2 now after that we will move to the next character which is b so in this case our i will become 2 now again we will take this character in temp variable again we will compare ch and temp now in this case both ch and temp are not equal so in this case what we have to do is we have to print the value of ch and its count on the display so let's assume we will display a2 on the screen now after that we will store the value of temp inside ch so ch will store b and similarly we will reset count with 1 and after that we will go to the next character which is c so similarly we will again copy this character in temp after that again we will compare ch and temp now as you can see in this case ch and temp does not match so again we will do the same thing that we did for a we will again display ch and count on the screen and after that we will copy the value of temp inside ch then we will go to the next index which is 4 and again we will store this character in temp so again this is c and now after this we will again compare ch with temp so now in this case both of them will match so again we will increase the count by 1 so now the count will become 2 Now similarly we will move till index 7 and in this case our count will become 5. Now once we reach index 8, now in this case our temp will hold a and now this time when we compare temp with ch both of them will not match and in this case we will display the value of ch and count on the screen and after that we will copy the value of temp after that we will move to the next index which is 9 and in this case the character is a so we will copy a in temp and then we will again compare it temp with ch now in this case also both of them will match so now again we will increase the count by 1 now one more time we will go to the last index which is 10 and in this case again the character is a so our temp has a and ch has a now both of them again will match so in this case we will again increase the count by 1 Now after the complete iteration over this string at the end we will again display the value of ch and count on the screen and in this way we have compressed the input string which is given to us now first of all let's see the solution in c language then we will see the solution in java and python now this is our solution in c language so first of all we have taken a character array of 1000 number of characters we are just assuming that the sentence will not exceed 1000 number of characters after that i am taking the input using get s but before this i am using f flush so this f flush will take only the standard input and after that we are using a function strlwr which means the string lower function which will lower the upper case characters present in the string and after this we are taking a character variable ch and inside this we are storing the zeroth index character of the input string and after that we are taking another variable count and initially we are storing one inside it 
and after that we have a for loop now inside this for loop we have a variable i which is initialized with value 1 and it will iterate till i is less than the length of the input string and after that we are incrementing i by 1 now once we enter this loop first of all we will take a character at the ith index inside the variable temp and then we will compare if both ch and temp are equal then we will increase the count by 1 else we will go to this block and we will display the value of ch and count on the screen and then we will assign the value of temp in ch and then we will reset the count to 1 and once we come out of this loop we will display the value of ch and count once again now let's execute this program as you can see for this input we are getting the correct output now this is the solution in java so first of all we are creating an object of scanner class then after that we are taking the input string from the user and storing it inside a variable s then after that using two uppercase method we are converting all the uppercase characters in the lowercase after that we are taking a string variable compressed which will store our compressed string now after that we are taking a count and initializing it with one after that we are taking a variable ch and storing the zeroth index character of the string lower in ch after that we have this for loop now inside this for loop we are taking a variable i and initializing it with one and this loop will iterate till i is less than the length of lower string and after that in each iteration we are incrementing i by one now once we enter this loop first of all we will take the character at the ith index and store it in temp then we will compare if ch and temp are equal we will increase the count by one or else we will go to this block and inside this we are concatenating ch and count in compressed string which will be our output and we will reset count and then we will store the value of temp inside ch now similarly this loop will iterate till i becomes equal to the length of the lower string and after that one more time we will concatenate ch and count in compressed and then we will display it on screen now let's run this now as you can see for this input i am getting the correct output now this is the solution in python so first of all here we are taking the input from user using input function and then storing it inside string variable and then using lower method we are simply converting all the uppercase characters in lowercase and then storing it inside the variable string. After that we have taken a variable count and the initial value of count is 1. And then we have taken a variable ch and the initial value of ch will be the 0th index character of input string. Then we have a for loop and inside this for loop we have i variable which will start from 1 and it will iterate till the length of the input string. In each iteration, we will take a character at the ith index and store it inside temp. And we will check if ch double equals to temp, which means if ch and temp matches, then we will increase the count by one or else we will go to this block and we will display the value of ch with count. And then we will copy the value of temp inside ch and we will reset the value of count to one. And once we come out of this for loop, we will again display the value of ch and count on the screen. Now let's run this program. And here I am giving an input. And as you can see, for this input, we are getting the correct output. I hope you understood the solution. Now if you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. And if you want to watch such videos in future, don't forget to subscribe to Coding Bytes. Thank you.